Today we're going to talk about how to fit the uh, ACT wide ratio gear set into your DRZ400. There's three places of interference within the uh, transmission that are caused from the larger fifth gear that ACT offers for this. Uh, the first place is going to be the case right here. The second is the shift fork and uh, and how it clear how it clears over fifth gear. We'll show that in a minute. And uh, the third would be the second shift fork that has to go around the larger fifth gear. So you can see here that the, this case has already been clearanced. So this area around the shift fork boss right here. Um, it has a minor interference with fifth gear. You only have to go about a sixteenth of an inch deep and shouldn't cause any significant problems. You can cut it with a Dremel tool or a die grinder or anything pretty much. And you want to go about a sixteenth of an inch thick on this web. So let's talk about how to check for proper clearance of, uh, of the case there. What you're going to want to do is install the primary shaft. This is first gear which is cut onto the shaft. You drop that in the case. And now you're going to take fifth gear from the primary shaft, drop it on, and obviously now it clears. The second area of interference is with the shift fork for third gear that goes on the primary shaft. So what we're going to do is we're going to install third gear onto the shaft. And the shift fork, this is the factory shift fork, so you can see the interference problem. I can't even drop it on all the way. So what we're going to do is you're going to put the, the rod in and the fork in, and it doesn't even turn. The reason why is because of the interference right in there. So now with a properly modified shift fork, it will look about like this. Here's one that has been modified and the stock comparing to the stock one. Once again, it's about a sixteenth of an inch thick through here. And you drop that in. And everything spins free. And you can see that area right there. I'll pull these parts out of the way. And the next thing we're going to do is uh, check that last shift fork. In order to do that, we have to install the uh, secondary shaft. I'll pull fifth gear out of the way for now. Um, the secondary shaft, you want to have the fifth gear installed, the factory first gear. Make sure you have all the right washers and the bushing and everything in place. Now to hold it in place on this, uh, this while you're putting it in the case, the best way to do that is really upside down. So kind of hard to do facing away from me, but we'll attempt it. Drop it in. Drop it home. Okay, so now we have the secondary and primary shaft in. You have first gear right down there. That's the factory parts. This is the ACT fifth gear from the, se the secondary side, primary fifth gear. So now that we have the primary and secondary shafts installed, and you have first and fifth gear installed, we're gonna, I'll show you where the interference problem is. That's by putting in the factory shift fork and the rod. And you can see right there, it's not allowing this gear to get to fully engage. So in order to allow that to, to uh, clear, the shift fork has to look like this one. So you can see the difference there. So let's put that one in place, the modified shift fork, along with the rod. And you can see here, it, once you're shifted in the first gear, Everything still spins free. I can push the shift fork against uh, the primary shaft a little bit towards that direction and everything still still spins free. There's no interference any longer. 
So that's how you want to check for proper clearance. As you drop the pieces in place and make sure everything spins. It's pretty easy. Thank you.